Hello guys and welcome back to my new video series The Project of Embracing 2 Platinum Walkthrough and welcome to part 2 We are starting as you can see in a new location with a new car which is the Porsche Boxster S and this time we are in Moscow, the capital of Russia The new car series is called Sports Convertible Series as the name already says and shows, it's about sports convertibles, one of which is the Porsche Boxster, Porsche Boxster S. So, not only is this a new car, a new car class and, C uh, and kudos championship series and new location, but this is also a new type of race. And this type of race is called, in English, uh, it was possibly overtake I, I guess this is what they what they call it because it's about overtaking it's about overtaking as many cars as possible in a limited time frame mostly anything between one and a half and four minutes or so and in this challenge I I didn't count now and I'm not quite sure I forgot but it was seven cars i believe you need to overtake and well we will see r r roughly two and a half minutes i believe it looks rather easy again but this um, particular challenge is actually pretty tough i needed certainly almost 10 tries or something to to accomplish the platinum because it you have to drive here well not super perfectly, but still rather, rather quick and with as, as little mistakes as possible. This turn here, very technically, you need to hit it with a very high speed it, it, in just the right angle. And this here, too, it's like a long stretched right hander where you need to, to hit this apex very, well, very um, accurately in order to have enough speed for the straight here before you break here again. But all in all it's pre a pretty quick track, like a very quick track configuration through the streets of Moscow. And as, if, uh, um, as far as I know this should be the Rino Clio in front of us is the last opponent, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. I've got only... You can see it now because again the game developers thought it would be a good idea to leave out all the important data during the saved replays. But here are only a few seconds left, so it was a pretty close, pretty cl close call here. Yeah, and that's the race finished. Now just enjoy the replay again with the nice dish Need for Speed style music.
and that was it for the first race of the series. We earned 914 kudos, as you have seen. The next race is a normal street race, again for the Boxer S, again in Moscow. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, um, the Porsche is the class leading car here again. Um, um, mostly I do drive the class leading cars, because mostly, especially in the first car classes, like this is the, f uh, the second car class of the game, the class leading cars are just so much better than the rest of the field. The next, the second fastest car of this class would be the Honda S2000, which is already considerably slower than the Porsche, and the third fastest would be the BMW Z4, which again is a little bit slower than the S2000, so that one also has a realistically no chance against the Porsche, so yeah, I, you, you're basically forced often to use the best car in class in order to gain the Platinums. As you can see, the leading car before I took over the lead was also a Porsche Bo Boxster S, obviously, again, because yeah, it's so, so super advantaged, so much better than the rest of the field, and the cars under them are <laughs> almost laugh laughably slow compared to them, especially the Mazda MX-5, I believe it's the 2001 version, um, it's the slowest car of the class and as far as I remember right, the slowest car of the game. I will have a video um, about that at the end of my video series where I test the top speed of every single car in the game of all 102 cars, except the DLSs, the two DLSs that have been released, which I do not have because it's such an old game and I couldn't really get a hold of them. There are some certain ways, um, I believe, uh, to still acquire them, but they are probably um, less legal and a lot of hustle and a lot of uh, money spending and time spending in order to make that work and quite honestly I couldn't be I, I could like I didn't care enough to do that, so yeah, you know the 102 cars were enough for me. All right, so that was the second um, race. Nothing too spectacular, not a really difficult track, but a really fun one with the jump at the end, as you have seen. Um, yeah, cool race, a lot of fun, and now we move again along with the replay. So, the next race is in Florence, in Italy, and again with the Porsche Boxer S as the class leading car. This time it's a street race again, against only those three opponents, and 
as I have explained a minute ago. Whether you can see the, the aforementioned other class leading cars, which were the Honda S2000 and the BMW Z4. And I'll just look how far behind they were already at the beginning of the race. So yeah, the Porsche Boxster S is one of the class leading cars in the game in general. Like there are very little other little number of other car classes where the the class leading car is just so much better than the rest of the field, except possibly the um, SUV class and in that class. Another Porsche is the class leading car, which uh, was the Pana Panamera at this point, yeah, I believe. Well, now I'm not sure again, but we will see anyway in the in, in a few parts, in the future parts, you will see that. So this track is used rather often in this configuration or very similar configurations throughout the throughout the game, throughout, throughout the cruise championship career, uh, but not nothing too difficult. Uh, Alright, now you again along with the replay. So the next next race is set again in Florence, Italy, and again obviously we're driving the Boxster S. This time around it's a head-to-head, -head, which I called in the first part of my video series a uh, duel. Yeah, but it's more common in English uh, English speaking countries to, uh, to say head-to-head, -head. and this is how it's uh, how this mode is called in the English version of the game. Um, we are. As the class leading car racing, obviously, also the class leading car, which is also the Porsche Boxer S, through the streets of Florence, and it's, um, I mean, I did need a, a few tries here too, as in some other races, it wasn't really super difficult, but also not, not that easy. You did need a certain speed to beat him. The eye in general in this game is pretty quick some tracks very very fast like when you need to be very close at the limit on other tracks relatively slowly for such a high difficulty level set which is the highest platinum but all in all they are very pretty quick and very advanced it's a, it's a very advanced very intelligent AI compared to I would say every racing game out there at least definitely any, any other racing game I have ever played and I played a lot you know like the Colin McRae's the Tokas DTM championship also called in other countries DTM racing um, the Gran Turismo the Forza's uh, and more you know <laughs> the everything I, I played almost all major racing games and the I, I have never experienced such advanced AI they are really ruthless really quick they really do take advantage of your mistakes like immediately you know and they use like the typical spots to to overtake where a human would try to overtake where you as a player would try to overtake 
and it really really impressed me i mean it's such an old game the release date was 2003 2004 pretty surely on the original xbox i mean sure the xbox was no slouch for its time in fact it was extremely powerful for its time especially at release um, but still you know it's it's ancient ancient compared to today's technology and consoles and like i don't know why no other racing car maker can can do such an impressive and advanced ai as it is here because it really often feels like you, you would you would be racing against human opponents like you would play online honestly and thus it was a lot of fun much more fun than in most other racing games actually all other racing games i have played but anyway i leave you as always along with everybody The next race is set again in Moscow, Lenin is the track called, nice name, <laughs> and obviously no surprise we are using the Porsche Boxster race again. This time though we are doing again the slalom, it's the second slalom of the Kudos Championship and the only slalom in this car class of the sports convertibles. Um, Weirdly enough, I found this this Kudos challenge well, more challenging, more difficult than the first one, which was really small, like it didn't take long. It was a really t relatively easy track in Sydney, or actually a very easy track. But I don't know why. Maybe because I got used, probably because I got used more to the controls of the game. But here I found it. A lot, of, a lot, um, a lot easier. Although it's a much faster challenge and it, it is longer. It takes longer to to go through it and the track itself and the position of the of the cones is more difficult in general. I needed roughly ten tries, maybe more still because I had my problems with these challenges. Anyway, I will be alone with the replay.
Next challenge is set yet again in Moscow, and yet again we're using the Porsche, obviously. This time though, it's the, <laughs> the speed trap, the lightning machine, as I have explained in the first part. No, it's the speed uh, trap challenge. Important is here to take this corner very tidily, but obviously with a lot of speed as, much, as, as you can take on this straight in order to beat it. As you have seen, I have taken a slightly a weird angle so that I hit the barrier at the end. And by doing this, you just have a little bit, a little bit more track to use in order to accelerate to hit the to hit the acquired limited minimum speed. Just a little trick you can use for this one extra kilometer or two you need. And that's that. I won a whopping 75 kudos for this challenge. Next race is a street race and again in Moscow and again with the Porsche and this is the last challenge and the last race for the sports convertible series. A little bit more opponents this time around. Far behind was the Toyota MR2, which is the second slowest car of this class. And, well, obviously it would be in last place. No one. I'll just look up which speed we needed in this speed trap challenge. I recorded it somewhere else. Right, it was 170 kilometers per hour and this is again as in the first challenge the exact speed I hit because these challenges really are mostly are really tough to beat and you rarely go when you beat the challenge you rarely go above the required minimum speed to beat, uh, to beat. <laughs> um, basically you don't, mostly you don't even go even one single kilometer above it, and in that case, it wasn't different. So a lot of dirty driving for me again, but sometimes you really need to be aggressive against, against this, well, rather aggressive AI and very advanced AI, as I have explained a minute or two ago. And, well, Sometimes you just need to be a little harsher to them because they will use every opportunity to be also not, not really not only harsh and aggressive but sometimes pretty unfair. Like they would bump you from behind, shoot you in the wall, and just drive pa drive past and well take the lead and take the win. And so yeah, no mercy for them. Very cool track configuration with the jump, as you have just seen. And also, I believe it is the ex exact track which will be later used in the game in the arcade mode, uh, in the cone challenges of the arcade mode, which are which there are 20 of. And yeah, it, it is, I believe, the exact same track, but. There, only there you have to drive in the rain and not with a Porsche Box, Boxster S but with a Jaguar XJ220 so look forward to that this was definitely one of the, the hardest challenges not only cone challenges but one of the hardest challenges in the entire game and I needed definitely about 4 hours to beat it uh, yeah, there was something. So, yeah, look forward to that. There's the jump again. Probably the last lap, I don't know. Or second to last. Again, nice drift. Already over 1000 kudos. Which is okay for a race with a slow.
All right, people, we only got 20 seconds left. So, well, thank you for watching. If you liked what you've seen, please leave a like, a comment, maybe even a sub, maybe share on social media. And, well, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.